although your heart's starting to beat, you're starting to wonder what you're going to, you're focused on getting into the helicopter. Today, they're being dispatched to a man crushed by a crate at work. So this whole pallet that came down? Yeah, this is all fell on the cliff, and then the forklift picked up with him, so I think it's pretty easy to try to stop it falling. Uh, yeah. We heard it go, yeah. we can run in straight down, and Nick got it off. It was definitely not more than two minutes. Oh, no, no. All right. Uh, but at the moment, it's <laughs> major trauma is when a patient's injuries is so high their life is threatened. In Peter's case she could be bleeding to death. Crush injuries you have to assess them by reading the patient's physiology, reading how the patient's coping and you have to work out what the injury is. The closest a &E to Peter is Kingston Hospital but his injuries are so severe that he needs to go to a major trauma centre and for him, the nearest major trauma centre is St George's Hospital. Hello, everybody. This is Peter, who was crushed under a 400 kilogram crate containing an air conditioning unit. He took the impact on his left hand side. Injuries from top to toe include a left rib fractures with a suspected hemothorax and a pelvic fracture involving the sacrum. Thank you. OK, guys, should we get off the scoop? Great, right, flops back on. I just need to take the press in and out as best you can for me. Any pain in the tummy at all when I'm pressing? Yeah. On the left lower, lower part. Oh, I have to delay one of the major traumas. Oh, I'll just Sorry, it's a little bit strange. No, I'm yeah, I'm so excited. Yeah. Like no problem. I'm going to measure your wife now you're here. Yeah, she's not as healthy as I I think you've probably bled or bleeding into his pelvis. Let's just give him a little unit of blood, yeah? We're just going to give you some blood. Never had any operations before? Never been in hospital before. For a lot of older major trauma patients, they can have life-changing injuries. Um, you know what's happening next to you? I'll see what the scan shows us. Yep, okay. Yeah, guys, should we get a chest and pelvis, please? Breathing first. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. It's very difficult to know how much damage crush injuries have caused at the initial look, so you have to be quite suspicious. Do you go scan them? If you have a significant enough break to the pelvis, you can disrupt blood vessels and cause huge amounts of bleeding. CT ready, Mickey? It's a race against time. Every second counts. I was flushed by a big pallet load of compressed air equipment slid off the back of the uh, tail lid. It was kind of key trimmed and I was able to hold it and it just slid off halfway down and landed on top of me. Uh, 400 kilos. Apparently I fractured my pelvis so I actually felt myself concertina. Right, I'm not a no, boom specialist, but it's probably going to need an operation. Yeah. All right. We realise you're really uncomfortable. Yeah. We'll remove everything. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Yesterday, Peter had major surgery to repair his pelvis with plates and screws after he was crushed by a 400kg crate in an accident at work. So I was really, really frightened because you just don't know what to expect. You get the call to say there's been an accident and you, you don't know what you're going to walk in on. You know, so I was really shocked when I saw him laying in recess. Therapists will now begin Peter's rehabilitation. All right, uh, we've got a frame with us. Okay. Uh, and we'll see if we can get you moving. And if you try and sit yourself up. If you lose your mobility, and you get quite worried about how you're going to regain your function and return to normal life. We all need Peter to know that his movement isn't going to cause him any more problems. He's also going to need to learn to trust the metalwork that's in his pelvis. The idea is that the metalwork is in there is to yeah. stabilise what's yeah. going on okay. until the bones and the ligaments can heal themselves. 
One, two, three, push up through you go. Push up through the left, up through the left. Push, 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 good. Really good. Now pop your hands up onto the frame. Perfect, well done. Jeez, I didn't know it was going to be so difficult. This after the day and a half, anyway. <laughs> you need to think about what's good. gone on in that yeah, day and a half. Yeah, that's true, yeah, it's been a busy day and a half. <laughs> yeah. Got it. You're there, perfect. Yeah. And then the other arm down. Yeah. yeah perfect. And you're down. Landed. <laughs> I yeah. think you've nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? Up two days ago, I should have walked around like you guys to this. It's just ridiculous. Mm. Yeah, well done. That's great. Well, thank you for your help. That's OK. See, I arrived here on Thursday afternoon, a complete gibbering wreck, wondering if I'd actually ever walk again, let alone anything else, or survive. And um, yeah, so one day later having major surgery, and then one day later being told I'm going for a walk. So quick. Peter will remain under the care of the trauma team as he continues the long process of physical and mental recovery.